I have always dreamed of seeing wild white lions. Farm fresh tracks. These lions are wild, yeah, so anything can happen. Always oh, special. Go, Barney, go! My name is Taylor. My name is Tristan. Welcome to Ranger Exchange. Tristan and Taylor have touched down at Ant Beyond Ngala on the trail of the rarest white lion in the world, the wild white lioness. To help them in their search, our two rangers have teamed up with Barney. He is the head ranger at Ant Beyond Ngala. Being a ranger to me it means I get to interact with people from all over the world, I get to educate, make people understand where we fit in as humans. I'm a conservationist in short. With only three known to be living in the wild, white lions are one of the rarest animals on earth and Ngana has two of them, a male and a female. In the whole world there has not even been one record where two white lions have been recorded in the same pride at the same time. When we talk about white lions, we're talking about this genetic mutation. Both a male and a female have a recessive gene that causes a lack of melanin. So they're not albinos. Their color is still there, it's just faded. Barney is an experienced ranger, but even for him, finding those lions will be difficult. They are free, they are wild, and they have hundreds of thousands of square kilometers to traverse. Even if you made it all the way here where you know what the white lines are, it's not a guarantee that you'll be able to find them. Enter Richard, one of Ngala's most experienced trackers. Just out of camp, Richard spots lion tracks. We're often asked by our guests, how do we track animals and how do we tell the freshness? Well, we've got Richard over here and he's the master of the arts. Look, this one here. So essentially what Richard has said is that the tracks, they're compact, they're smooth, they're shining. Let's Thank see you. if we can find these cats. So they'd found the Pride's trail. The only question now was, could they keep up? These lions move a long way. I mean, they can walk 20, 30 kilometers in a night. Luckily, they've got Barney and he knows the land like the back of his hand. I was born and raised in this eastern part of South Africa. It's in a very small village, but I was very lucky that my dad was one of the people that was employed to look after one of the campsites back in the day. So I had the fortune in my life of going in and out of the reserve as a little kid. I was lucky to get a job in one of the lodges down in the south as a trekker. Ever since that day, I've never looked back. So luck is one thing, but you also need to be determined if you want to get somewhere. Barney is a gentle giant with a wealth of knowledge and it's great to be on a vehicle with him exchanging stories. With Barney and Richard's combined experience, it wasn't long before the lions were within their grasp. So we've found fresh tracks. It looks like the lions are much closer. Barney, what's the process from here? The tracks are going across and the lions might be closed in this section here. So Richard is going to go on foot and he'll let us know when he finds one. We're slowly putting the pieces of this puzzle together. I can't wait for Tristan to see those white lions. Lions on foot. These lions are wild, eh? so anything can happen. Richard spotted those tracks on very difficult terrain, and from there, his expert knowledge of this area after 37 years led us straight to those lions in the most efficient manner possible. It doesn't look like they're all here, though. The pride was there, but those elusive white lions were nowhere in sight. Uh, well, the young lioness had gone off for a walkabout and exactly. disappeared. They were quite worried about her, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were genuinely concerned. Pride dynamics put the young white lions at risk. The young males, when they reach the age, anything between two and a half to four years old, they get kicked out from their own pride. And they form coalitions. They start wandering as nomadic males and move from one male's territory to the other. The lionesses will not blink to move on with the strongest male that comes in. Male lions will often kill rival males' cubs. If the rosemary sticks around for another six months or more, chances of these guys making to adulthood will be quite high. And obviously with them being here, we know that they've produced white lions, so the longer they're here, there's a more chance of white lions being born to this pride. The sun has just set behind us. All the birds are doing their final call before they head off to wherever they're sleeping. Absolutely phenomenal end to the day. 
With the two white lions still missing in action, they would need to wait till morning and start tracking all over again. Tristan and Taylor were running out of time to find the rare white lions, but in a place of such astounding natural beauty, it's hard not to get distracted. And rangers will tell you that life in the wild is full of surprises. The sudden entrance of wild dogs on the hunt proved that to be true. Dogs are running! Dogs are going! Dogs are going! Dogs are going. Bouncing around in a vehicle chasing after wild dogs is the ultimate adrenaline rush. Guys, this is amazing. We finally catch up with the dogs. Unbelievable. After all that racing around, sort of coming out into this open clearing, was pretty spectacular to have them on an Impala kill. Wild dogs are the rarest dogs on the planet. While Tristan and Taylor take no pleasure in the kill, they are happy because the wild dogs are fed. This goes somewhere into ensuring their survival. Wild dogs, I love those animals. They are very, very rare. With the way they look after each other, how they look after their youngster, how they work together as a team. I tend to have a soft spot in my heart. They have become my favorite animal of all time. I think what we've experienced here this afternoon is good quality guiding, firstly, and years and years of experience. One of my favorite things with dogs, here it's a carcass, but look at how peaceful they are when they feed amongst one another. There is no fighting, nothing. It's a bittersweet end to the day. The white lions have eluded the team once more. It's the team's final day to try and find the white lioness, and Barney has received a tip off about her potential location. Soon enough, Richard finds fresh tracks of the pride. And some that are here, the bad guy. Sure, the big boys, eh? Oh, wow. So it's the whole pride that's walked here. It's very fresh. It must be close. Let's go, guys. The search for the white lions had me quite apprehensive. We were very close to tented camp on the corner of the property. If they head east, they'll be gone. Listen, listen, listen. It sounds like lions fighting over food or something. Doesn't sound far, does it, Barney? It doesn't sound far at all. I cannot wait to get my first view of these mysterious cats. It was such a perfect textbook track of lines. You drive a little bit and you stop and you listen and you try and kind of triangulate where the sound is coming from. It's such an incredible experience. Can you guys see the hyena? Yeah, sure, it's really camouflaged in the grass. If you look at the direction where it's looking at and the fact that we hear this line audio once in a while, I think this lines might have killed something big. And then finally, in the thickest bush, their patience was rewarded. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful, eh? I cannot believe we've seen the white lions. The whole pride is here, both the white lions. It's just the absolute best scenario that we could have hoped for. Barney, you guys have done a great job. <laughs> well done. For me, it was those eyes. They were unbelievable. This color, it's like everything just shows. I wouldn't be surprised if you've got more scars than the rest of them because whew, this is a brave lion. <laughs> to think that there's only three wild white lions and two of them are right here, and especially because the little female is the only female white lion in the entire world that is wild. Our hopes to be able to keep on seeing the white lions is for the young female to actually stop wandering around and be able to stick around and stay with the pride. Hopefully, she'll have white cubs of her own. Wouldn't that be cool? It's a great story to follow. How do you feel when you manage to deliver on this huge expectation of white lions? It makes you feel good. But I would have never seen those tracks if it wasn't for Richard. Two of them are quite full and they're starting to lie down. Every now and again, you start seeing a little bit of squabble like that. So we will conclude this sighting by letting these lions carry on doing what they do. I am really, really happy that we got to see lions and, and particularly those white lions. I mean, it's a bucket list animal for me. So to tick that off is an experience I'll never forget.
sharing ideas with people that are likely minded and got the same passion was really amazing for me. It makes you realize how what we do is important. It's been action-packed madness these last couple of days. I think you guys brought us luck. <laughs> <laughs> people need to get here, get to experience nature firsthand, breaking away from their busy life, stress and all of that. You come here, you get to clear your mind. On a personal level, coming and seeing those white lines for the first time has just been, I can't explain it, it's been something that I'll never ever forget. It. Tristan and Taylor are leaving Ngala all the better by having spent time with Barney. He is a man of great courage, great leadership and is a shining example of what's possible when one person dedicates their life to conservation. Thank you for watching this episode of Ranger Exchange here on Brave Wilderness. Don't forget to comment below and share this episode with your friends. And remember, be brave, stay wild. We will see you on the next adventure.